All right, here are the two dead hemlocks snags. Right here, see this one's got a big chomp out of it. <laughs> and then this next one is uh, pretty tall. And uh, so we're just gonna, we got a line up in there just for safety. Um, it's, you can kind of see it's, uh, it's kind of leaning towards the right of the, uh, in those crowns a little bit. So don't want it to get all hung up in there. So we're just kind of gonna aim it. It's still on the fence about this actually. I should aim it uh, down here or down here. There's an electrical box down there, but I don't think it's going to reach it. Pretty sure. So, but this this line we're using is just a precaution. And uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to rely mainly on the wedges and things. But um, this is what we got to work with here. So, exactly where I should put the camera. Anyway, should maybe over here. All right, let's get started.
Can you give it a tiny pull? There we go. There we go. Pull, pull! Good job. Yep. Cool. So nice. Just went exactly where we wanted. So nice. Okay. That thing uh, just disintegrated. <laughs> I don't know if it's on camera. The, the breaking apart part, but yeah. Anyway, it's nice to have the the line in there. I didn't want to wedge too hard. Just you know, I don't know. It's rotten wood, right? So good to have uh, a little bit of uh, help there on the pull, which because uh, uh, sending all those vibrations into the rotten wood is mm, not the best in my opinion. So uh, somebody with maybe some better skill would have been able to do it, do it without a pull. But uh, yeah, um, anyways. Down, you got it uh, right on target, which is the the goal, however the way, however way you want to do it, right? Um, and uh, it's a stump. We on on this side we had a a bit of a lean this way, so then kind of a little bit of a holding wood, but uh, pretty sound wood in the center. The outside is getting really punky. So, um, but so the good thing is we had that, but this almost no way of telling other than watching the chips come out of the come out of the saw when you're cutting the back cut or the, the undercut anyways um i looked around on the side is it didn't look too bad actually it's kind of it looks a little precarious when you're putting the wedges in because the, the bark is squeezing it looks almost like the, the the wood is just caving in uh under your wedges so uh not really reassuring but i knew that um I knew the tree was moving a tiny bit, like, and and also we had the pull line as backup. So pull line is good because, uh, yeah, if if the tree is completely rotten from from out to, from center to the outside, it's you know it, there is a chance of losing it, which is uh, not good. Anyway, we got all the cars out of the way. The house is is there's nothing in really to hit. The road is there, but it's like it's, a, it's just a, almost like a private road. So, anyways, long story short, kind of how it went, um, and then we'll we'll get this one too. It's not nearly as tall, but there is a big chomp out of it from the birds or whoever. Yeah, well, it is birds. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, big one done.
this one will go in the same spot. Maybe you gotta pull a line in it as well just to make life easier. And uh, that's that. Okay. <laughs> Just a slight pull. Yeah, like that's fine. Just hold it like that and uh, try not to move it. And I'll just do a cut and let it down. Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. Let me find that What's that? So this is a little mistake sure. I made here. Um, I was actually getting overconfident with uh, the way things were going here. So I just wanted uh -huh. to kind of uh, interject with um, some notes that I took home on this. Uh, everything else, I was uh, using wedges <clears throat> to build some pressure into the back cut um, or into the back of the tree to lift it and push it over um, and using the pull line just to just to get the final weight of the stem over and, and get, give it keep keep some momentum just in case uh, it was getting too rotten or something like that. But uh, so I skipped doing wedges on this one, which um, which kind of made the tree a little bit more unstable when pulling. So uh, just just a disclaimer, um, kind of this is this is just me being overconfident, and uh, I'm definitely not doing that again. <laughs> Because uh, as you can see, some some uh, branches uh, shook out a bit, and uh, which was kind of like, yeah. Anyways, not the, the ideal situation. Um, and then you'll see, kind of, uh, I come back to grab the saw and stuff, and then uh, I'm out. Like once I pass the camera, I uh, trip on something and fall flat on my face. So <laughs> um, that's definitely uh, it, it, that would have been avoided if uh, if I just. Uh, did what I was doing earlier. So, anyways, that's um, kind of something just uh, that I'm taking home on that, just as a note for everyone else. That's um, that's probably That'll be a good one. Just to stick with the wedges, unless unless you really know um, what you're doing. <laughs> anyways, uh, okay.